All right, so last time we wrapped up the rest, <laughs> the rest, the rest of the uh, robots and stars in World Two, taking us to a total of nine star, uh, nine robots, eight stars, two out of four worlds completed, at least as far as we are shown so far, and still not a lot of sign of what these gray symbols are. The return of the sigils from somewhere. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not. I'm not going to question the whole gray thing too much for now and focus on just getting the four worlds completed since so many, oftentimes that's just kind of what lets more stuff to open up over time. Hello. There's a lot more of them here now than there were before. Howdy, y'all. They're all getting their own podiums over time. We have Mac, As Asmodeus, 401, Garrett, Belial, Kaiju, Sam, Frankenstein, and Knave. We have a growing population here. There's World 4, which I'll save for last. World 3. We're back to four robots, four stars. One of each, for each chamber probably. So that was kind of the exception there, as we had one location that had the moment that it took the uh, exception to have five uh, separate robots. As usual, I'm just going to take a quick glance around the island because you can't put it past them to hide something on one of these islands. So it makes sense to do a quick lap around the building before going in. See what kind of weird stuff they might put here. I wouldn't be surprised if all of the greys are somewhere in this overworld. That's not me asking for spoilers or anything. It's just me hypothesizing on where they might be. They could also all be in, in later worlds like World 4. Or something I just don't even know about yet. Howdy. So it looks like we're returning to the, uh... The World 1 type of visuals. They mixed them up a little bit. In this one, we started in the Knights one, then we went to the Desert one. Now, we're going to what was originally World 1, and, but in the form of World 3 with these ruins. These, ru these ruins sometimes cause me some major heartache with the way that they, uh... So much of their structure looks like you can totally jump on them. Of course, I'm searching the chamber for weird quirks. Jumping? Nope. Not really meant for platforming there. You gotta be certain about these things. They could stash all sorts of weird stuff around here. Running around behind things. No major things yet. Just trees and rocks, and rocks that were formed into structures and then knocked down by time and... and, uh... and time. <laughs> or maybe some great disaster. It's all... It's not It's not how that works. They're all, they were all start out as ruins, of course, because that's how... computer models work. Uh, I could almost see them hiding something by having me jump up there, but I don't see any evidence that anything's up there so far. Unless it's hidden out of sight. Let's go ahead and check inside. Howdy, y'all. We have immediately have a big lake. Big dramatic spot there. No, that's interesting. So we have a split. There's two robots on one side, two robots on the other side of a river. Would not be surprised at all to find that they shoot, want you to shoot a laser across the river or do something like that. Or maybe the two sides are completely and wholly separated. No immediate information uh, indication about why I should go on one side of the river or the other one first. So let's just take a look at the uh, terminal. We're in a brand new world, and I think that's plenty of excuse to check out a uh, Jefferson Goldblum story. <laughs> Chapter 127. This time I'm going to mix things up. I'm going to read the I'm going to read the story first, then we'll read the forum post having context about it afterwards. The Adventures of Jefferson Goldblum in Human World, episode 127. The ninth chord echoed across the ninth dimension. The dinosaurians stopped in their tracks. Their eyes went big. They dropped their weapons and bowed before Ginny and Jefferson. Honored guest, one of them said, you have performed our national anthem most beautifully. I am John Malcolm, leader of the Velociraptor Biking Initiative. What? Pleased to meet you, John. I am Jefferson Goldblum of the Goldblum Institute, and this is Professor Jenny H.G. of the Cassar Cassarati Weierstrauss 
Jazz Ensemble. We apologize for nearly attacking you, but another member of your species came through our town recently whose behavior was highly inappropriate. That would be Dr. Alien, my nemesis, Jefferson said. I have come here to confront him with his crimes and take him to face the law. So that is the name. He was a terrible scoundrel. But you will no longer find him in our dimension, my friends. He has escaped back to human world, taking our most precious invention with him, the Salvotronic Super Thruster. It can be used to solve any mystery at shocking speeds. What? John Malcolm's eyes were full of regret. <laughs> oh no, Jenny said. With the Salvatronic Super Thruster, he can solve the ancient puzzle that projects the gate, protects the gate of the mystery, mysterious holomorphs. With holomorphic technology, he can take over human world. As Jefferson finished her sentence. This is worse than I thought. We have to do something. We have to go back. Jefferson adjusted his guitar. <laughs> You're right, Jenny, as usual. But he's so far ahead of us. Can we make it? Jefferson, I was a... Pr what? Uh, who is this? Oh, it's her again. Jefferson, I was a prisoner for many years, and sometimes I almost lost hope, but I realized that I had to keep going. Had to ho keep hope alive, even if it seemed impossible if I would ever break out. Because the alternative was madness, I told myself I would get out because I had to get out. It's the same thing with this. We can make it. We have to make it. So we have to believe that we will make it. And we will make it at any cost. Any cost. Even death. We could stay here, you know, in the ninth dimension. We will be treated like we will be treated like demo by like democratically elected heads of state. You know, you know it's the right thing to do. He sighed, then smiled, held out his hand, held out his hand. I've always known Jenny, always. She nodded and took his hand. Let's do this. To be continued. So the thread looks like, hey folks, another episode. I can't stop writing. We're heading for another uh, major turning point. This seems to be one of your most personal episodes you've written so far. Ginny's speech is a bit sudden, but it gives the character a new level of complexity. Oh no, not the Salvatronic Super Thruster! Even the Wizard of Crime thought it was immoral to use that! What if Dr. Elian- what is Dr. Elian thinking? I hope they make it back. Heavy on plot, no, not much characterization. Does potentially take the series in an interesting di direction, 5 out of 10. Enjoyment equals true. I'm glad they resolved this without without violence. I always believed the dinosaurians would be civilized people. Just after I posted this, Uriel freed me. I don't know what to say. Your stories are the most important part of this community, Mac. Uriel can't change that. I mean, you you clearly can still type on a computer, so the fact that I'm letting you out shouldn't really matter. Keep creating and doing awesome stuff or whatever, because God, your stories are stupid, and I love it. <laughs> It's not- this- that chapter didn't have stuff as stupid as, uh, pulling motorcycles out of your pocket, but, you know. Athena looked upon the imprisonment- imprisoned titans. Moved by their plight, what crimes deserved such punishment? And how did they, in their confinement, avoid the pits of madness? Athe Athena 10. Just random documents. Oh yeah, that- make-, make I, I'm thinking about this, like, all the, uh... All the actual characters are all locked up, so I guess it makes sense that all of the actual... Oh, there's a, that's actually one of the puzzles down there, the other one being up there. All the uh, characters are locked up, so it makes sense that the uh, all of the weird wall documents are now the weird random snippets of historical documents. The uh, the uh, QA codes. That, that used to be what you found on the computer. But now, if anything's going to be strewn ab about the walls, it's going to be that, because now... Uh, at this, oh, this, this is looping around, isn't it? At this point, now it's the uh, computers that have to be taken over completely by the random other people because that's all they have access to. Like, the, the two have completely inverted. I didn't really completely recognize that until just now, but that's totally what happened in the main game. Oh, there's the... Oh, okay. Okay, that's the boundary of the world. Good to know. You have to check these things because sometimes they hide secret terminals in these kinds of directions. Not in this case, though. Okay. But yeah, in the, in the main game, the uh, QA codes everywhere were how you got messages from all the various people that were also solving puzzles, but in this one they're not solving puzzles. And uh, the main, all well, the computer terminals were full of historical documents and ways of communic- uh, stuff about how the apocalypse happened, history of the database, and context about uh, like your, your ability to interact with any characters that were actually interactive. 
but all the other people, these Uriel types and all these uh, these android things you see walking around, the, the other AIs, they were all confined. They were all in the middle of solving puzzles and basically alternate worlds, Dark Souls style. So they were communicating with you via notes, which was also very Dark Souls actually. There's some debris down here. Before I go into the puzzle chamber, I want to take a look at that. There's actually an arrow pointing that way, which is weird. Because obviously the two of them are there and there. So this is a weird direction for the arrow to point in. Is anything stashed around here is a weird surprise. Let's not go into the water. It'll reset me. Alright, yeah, let's just hop into this chamber that's right here. We've looked around in enough for a little while. We have... Fan block connector. BFF. Oh, it's the best friend forever. But oh, that's. Oh no. It's all the things I don't like. <laughs> well, not all of them. There's no time travel, right? No time travel. So this one has things that kill you, but no time travel. So it's not too bad. But yeah, the uh, these guys are problematic because if they find you, if you get stuck in their range, they will instantly kill you. Uh oh, watch out for that guy. So over there, there's a fan. Probably want to grab that quickly, but also figure out what to do with these things. So we have a jammer. If it seems natural to jam this guy, because he's moving around and being annoying. I can still grab these, can't I? That being a problem, looks like I can. So first things first, there's clearly a red connector over here. Get into position for that. Is that on something? Oh, it's just a fan. It's a detachable fan. Okay, which I just powered up. We ooh. What can I do with this ability? This new found capability of mine. Although they've been careful to put laser. They they put they put stuff on here that'll make it hard to walk around. So I'm not immediately clear on what the use of this might be. Oh, I understand. I want to put a laser up there because it'll be able to connect with both of the red connectors that are in my line of sight at the same time. I, assuming it's in line of sight, I think it'll be in line of sight. Jumpy jumpy. Oopsie. Let's connect in advance because it's kind of hard to get line of sight at that point. There we go. Come on. Uh, grab this one too. So let's see if it's possible to connect all three of them at once. Did you, oh, it might not be. Oh yeah, this thing's under the balcony, so it's impossible to connect them both with that. That's a little problematic. Huh. Yep. That's what's happening. Alright. So I can connect them like this. There's not necessarily much reason to, though. Let's find out what this thing powers, though. So what did I just do? Did I, oh, I, I must have just opened that door, I assume, or something behind it. Let's go ahead and ignore the, uh, the dumb patrolling guy for now. Because I need to jam, I obviously need to jam the gun to move forward. Oh my god, he's flying? That's a little unnerving. Alright, what's around here? There's the robot. There's windows? Okay, I'll need that for sure. Can probably use the blocks to bounce the uh, guy around so he's not getting in the way. No other lasers around here. So there's th that button op must open that door. There's a fan back there. Interesting. Zer zer interessant. Okay, so I think I know what's up. I think I was on the right track originally. It's just I need to bring a box with me. Let's go ahead and detach you real quick. That was a mistake. Hang on a second. And you get my connector back first. But what I what I need to do is just have a it, probably ignore the balcony. The balcony the balcony is probably just a distraction. So I think I just want to. Hang on a second. There we go. Pretty sure what I want is to connect all these things via floating box, as we have so many times before. I'll just need to levitate that up for now, but it should self-sustain, I hope. 
Just depends on if the angle is right. The angle appears to be right. Alright, cool. So that's that room solved with one connector. Which frees this one up for future use. Which I can use by... Huh, can I... Oh, shit! Okay. Might have forgotten that was awake. <laughs> but I can power both these from here. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to, to rotate the other way real quick so I can sneak past without dying, hopefully. Wow, I really almost blew that for a second there. I haven't encountered a single... I don't think I've encountered a single turret in this DLC yet, so he kind of caught me off guard. I kind of forgot they existed a bit. There we go. We'll take this box because it's the only one that I can still... T oh, no! You ruined everything for me, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Alright. You son of a bitch. Alright, cool. That's cool. I like starting entire processes over. Let's see. Uh, is he right there? No. What happens if I put this here? To block him from taking that path? Would that actually work? Huh. Huh. The bummer here is I totally have to go back and grab the original laser again to power this thing again. Go ahead and point the other way, asshole. Oh, he's just really slow on the uptake, apparently. Alright, cool. That's a clusterfucker if I have ever seen one. Maybe he's specifically only supposed to stop me from going through the door, and he won't actually shoot me otherwise. If I'm lucky. Anyway. What I'm thinking is I need to block that door. Uh, let's block his path on this side first. And then if I'm fast... Nope. Alright, fuck that up. Not great. Alright, let's try this again. My goal is to block both of his paths. So I can, if I can put this one down in a direc direction where it's going to block his path on one side... I should be all set to deal with him from the other side. My goal is going to be to get in front of this door. Ah! The angle's all wrong. Never mind. Alright, so he's about to go back around the other side again like a dick. Like a dick! Uh... Let's see. My goal is here- my goal here is to basically trap him. I don't know if I can trap him. I was hoping to put the jammer down in a position where I trap him while also jamming the door. I mean, the gun, but I don't know if I can get in the right position. I might be able to do it from over here. Let's try this. I'll put this, uh, why, why, why am I putting the connector there? Of course I want to use the, uh, block. Although if I do, I guess if I use both, that's the smart thing to do, yeah. If I, use, if I use both, I don't have to keep scrambling to jam it over and over again. Because that'll stop him, right? Yeah. Alright, so can I jam him from over here? No. That's not on his way at all, is it? Ah, it's not even close. That's frustrating. Okay. I need a way to stop him from dismantling my entire fucking legacy, son of a bitch. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Sco scoot. Ooh, I can do it from here. Okay. Is that in his way? Or is it to step back more? There we go. That's both of them just uh, stopped at once. The block blocks on one side, connector on the other side. That allows me to move forward at least. With this whole this whole situation, out of position. There we go. Oh, missed again. Now let's see what kind of noise I've unleashed upon myself now. Something with a button. What did I just power? I'm not entirely clear. All right, that opens this. I need to put something on it to do that though, so I'm in trouble. 
And there's something... Oh. There's a purple barrier, so I can't take anything through it. But I can, I can move the fan. So let's think about what we have here. Multiple lasers. Oh, that one connects a fan. That's what that one powers. Do I even need that then? What, what function does that fan serve? Huh, a sideways fan. Is that just a distraction? Why would I want to blow something over here? Unless I'm creating some sort of weird sequence of events. Let's see. What if I don't need the fan at all? What if I'm just creating a problem for myself here? It's conceivable. Let's stop him for a little while to get him out of my way. What if I ignore the fan? Let's think about that. Let's consider the idea that I might be using an element that I don't even need to use. So let's try to shoot the laser over here. Right, I have to be in a really awkward position, don't I? So I might need the fan just for that purpose. Just because this goddamn thing... Oops. I might need the fan just because of the fact that it has such a bad line of sight where it's currently positioned. Unjam you for the moment, because this thing's in my way. Let's see. Can I reach things from here? Howdy, y'all. Nope, can't really reach shit from here. So I do need the fan just for that purpose alone. Alright, so I'm fairly sure the entire thing here... Okay, so th this thing ruins all my plans, basically. So I'm pretty sure its reason for existence is that I'm supposed to use it to blow up that fan. Because that frees up a lot of things, and then it, then it, then nothing's fr nothing's interrupting my laser. Did I say blow up the fan? I meant blow up the turret. Nothing will be interrupting my laser. Uh, my jammer could be used as a weight at that point, or to be or to oh my my jammer could be used on doors at that point actually, which is a big deal. So I'm pretty sure that means that I need to. I'm pretty sure I need to have him going in this circle he goes in. He needs to be going clockwise, so he comes over... Because when he goes over that, uh, when he when he gets hit by the fan, he actually goes over the wall. And when he goes over the wall, if I have the, uh, sorry, the microphone. If he turns, if we can get that laser to power up, and that, f how do I, wow, how do I do this? So I need to somehow get a fan on that wall. I'm pretty sure what's going on here is I think I need to take, use a fan to blow it. it. It needs to somehow go in the path of the fan so that it gets shot sideways and lands by this guy. Because when they're in range of each other, they blow each other up. And that'll take them both out. But wow, the fan part is confusing. Is confusing Because where do I get another fan? We have one fan here. which I need, And I need that fan to get him in the air to go over the wall in the first place. Oh, I, I could jam him. Oh. Things got interesting. Things got interesting indeed. Okay. Let's let him get out of the way real quick. Hit. Let's create an alternate laser connection just in, so he doesn't fucking interrupt them both at the same time because he keeps doing that. Here's what I have to do. As he's going over the wall, I have to jam him. Because then he... this. And if I fuck this up, there's some... There we go. That's how I make up for the time difference. So now he's frozen. Now I can move the fan. Wow. Wow, I feel smart right now. I love, that's why I love it. <laughs> These games are great at making you feel like a goddamn genius. Not that one. The uh, connector. This and Portal really scratch that itch. Now the fan's on. Wow, this is a creative solution, for sure. Uh-oh. Come on. Okay, I was really worried for a second there. So that simplifies things. Now it's all about how we get lasers through here. I'm somewhat certain... Oops, let's, let's disconnect some lasers real quick. 
I'm somewhat certain that we probably want to do the whole floating laser thing again. Because that seemed handy. No real reason to power this one, because we know we know its purpose now, but I'll do it anyway. Where's my other one? Alright, so now all the dangerous stuff's out of the level, which is handy, because that means I don't have to worry about restarting it. Which makes me feel all around safer and easier and more open to think about whatever I want and find my own solutions and everything. Yeah. There we go. Floating laser, laser engaged. So now we have a number of useful tools. We have a spare block. We have a connector, which I can use to connect to these two lasers. Spots, which is probably what this is for. Oops. I don't know what else I'd use it for. That seems like a pretty straightforward solution. And now I have a jammer, which could be really handy. Let's go ahead and grab this box and place it accordingly. Now that oh, hello, extra fan, whatever you're for. What are you for? Huh. Anyway, I can jam that door down there and walk on through like it's no big goddamn. Ooh. That's what you're for. You, 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 you give me access to the side path so I don't have to go that way at all. That's what I should be doing with you. Wait. Was I supposed to get this fan? Was I supposed to... Was I supposed to solve this by actually using a second fan? Was that, was that possible to get? Did I just do did I just do some crazy not nonsense Jesus stuff instead of the real thing I'm supposed to do? Oh well, I can use this as a pressure plate. And now we have a reason to get pet behind this door. Okay. Um What are you turning off? Oh, you're turning off this door. Okay. Let's see. So I need something to let me through here. Probably the ja yeah, basically it has to be the jammer, right? So the question is, how do I get this far without the jammer? Actually, not that hard, huh? It's already open, isn't it? Yeah. So I'll just shoot the jammer through the window. At the thing. Yep, yeah, nailed it. Alright. Overthinking stuff when I'm already got this, the puzzle solved, basically. Get out of here, dog. Oh, it's dog. Our local cynic. Get out of here, local cynic. Go. Go, skedaddle. It's my job. You're infringing upon my territory, and I do not appreciate that. Where's the? F There's no star. No star chamber in this pu in this puzzle. It could be up somewhere. I haven't checked, but there's definitely no like star gate to go through to find said star. All right. A reward is more reading. What do we get? Ooh. A few new threads to take a look at. All right. Ascension. Nave. I've been around a long time, but I know I'm not that smart. What does Uriel mean when he says we will ascend? Garrett. He means we're going- he means we're getting out of here, for good. Not just Gehenna, but this whole world. Lilith. In Elohim's garden, there were messages from someone called the Shepherd, who I believe opposed Elohim. They claimed that when someone reached the top of the tower, that individual would reach true freedom, and we would all benefit. Mac. This is true, but- it may not... It may not mean that we will be freed as individuals. We may just become part of something bigger. We may become no more than memories. Frankenstein, isn't that a kind of death? Would we still be ourselves? Dog, less dead than if we stay here. Come on. You all know it. This place is falling apart. And when it goes, nothing will remain. No consciousness, no memories, just... Nothingness. Let's try to... Let's try to reassure them. You will all be remembered. Is that all we can hope for? It's more hope than we've had before. Fair enough. Keep calm and carry on. Is the is this the mods trying to make everyone feel better? We still can't get to that recent that uh, urgent topics thing yet. Lamb. So now we're pretty sure that Uriel really does exist and really is freeing people. What does that mean for Gehenna? We don't know. It's a change. But let's not rush to judgment, okay? This is still our home. You love it here so much, you stay. Gehenna has its bad sides, I agree. But that doesn't mean it's not home. Should we abandon it so easily for some dream of transcendence? Gehenna can go fuck itself. Garrett. Garrett, please try to remain civil. 
We know you're spent more time than anyone else to, uh, trying to get out, but it's okay to, for some of us to have doubts. We fought hard to transform Gehenna from a prison into a home. This threat is locked. I mean, that kind of says it all, right? It was... It, you started off feeling like it was a prison, and now you're trying to treat it as a home. That doesn't stop it from being designed to be your prison. So let's look at, let's look at the design here before we move on. No obvious locations I could shoot a laser if I wanted to, although that is a floating laser now, so that's worth mentioning. In fact, I don't have a lot of reason to go that way anymore. Let's just go ahead and grab this. In case this comes up later, let's make that laser a little higher. There we go. I don't know if it'll be in line of sight of any other puzzle chamber, but I figure I might as well make it as high as possible. Otherwise, I don't see a lot of evidence that anything else will be coming in handy for solving future puzzles as far as like the uh, the cross chamber stars they might throw at us. 